today I'm going to show you how to create this fun rainbow cut crease leading to a pot of gold for St. Patrick's Day. I'll be keeping the eyeshadow pretty simple so that the eyeliner rainbow can really shine. After priming and setting the eye, I'm first packing a matte cream shade similar to my skin tone all over the lid as a base. Next I'm sweeping a matte grass green all along the lower lash line. Deepen the lash line with a matte forest green. Blend them together before buffing out any harsh edges with a clean brush. And that's pretty much it for eyeshadow. I added a pop of green for St. Patrick's Day, but if you just want to do a rainbow any other time of year, you could do a pop of blue instead, keep it neutral with some brown, or just omit it altogether. The real fun begins now with all of these colorful liquid liners. First I'm looking straight ahead to see what parts of my eye are visible when it's open. I'm starting with the purple on the bottom because that's what rainbows look like. As I went along, I learned that it would probably make sense to map out the line of little dots first. The first line is the hardest, but don't worry if it comes out a little wonky. We can just clean it up later. Once the purple is done, things get much easier. Simply draw the next color along the edge of the last color in rainbow order. For those of you just learning your rainbows, that's purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. When you're done, it should look something like this. The purple isn't fully visible and the edges aren't perfect, but I don't care. I feel fabulous. Before moving on, I use the back of my hand to test which browns I own would look best for the pot. I chose to use a dark brown liquid liner to outline and fill in the pot. This prevents any of the rainbow from bleeding through. You could just do black, but I was worried it would blend into the wing if I did that. Then I lightened the inside of the pot with a matte fleshy brown. I almost forgot! Clean up the edge of the purple and red if you need to with some concealer, then set it with the matte cream shade. If you get any of it on your rainbow, just go over it with more eyeliner. Next, I'm beginning my wing by following the angle of my lower lash line. Then draw a thin line right against the base of your lashes. Connect everything together, slowly thickening the line as you go. Try not to cover up too much of the pot. I just remembered I had a green pencil eyeliner, so I might as well use it to line the water line. Next, I'm using a white liquid liner to draw a little cloud in the inner corner. I went over it with a pearly shimmer shade to add a subtle sparkle. I also used the same shade to lightly highlight the brow bone. Finally, I'm using a glitter liquid eyeshadow to fill the pot with gold. I waited until the very end because glitter has a tendency to get everywhere. All that's left to do is finish off the look of some mascara and you're done. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter where I post sneak peeks and updates. Feel free to let me know what you think of this look and request any looks you'd like to see. Thanks for watching and happy St. Patrick's Day! You can find a product list in the description box below.